Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 336D door face filler plate, they call it. People would just call this a 2 and an eighth inch hole filler, is what it is, um, because that's what it is. Hager has two hole fillers. They have one for an inch and a half hole and then a 2 and an eighth, and this is by far the most common. It would be nice if they had three, however. Um, so this unit is going to be used to blank out a 2 and an eighth inch hole. You've got a 2 and an eighth inch hole in a door. You don't want the hole there. Just slap a, a filler plate onto it and that's it. You might also want the 336A edge filler as well, the 2 and a quarter by inch and an eighth edge filler. Um, the other model that is there is, a, is about an inch and three quarter on the diameter. Um, just to blank out an inch and a half deadbolt hole, or maybe an inch and a quarter rim cylinder or mortise cylinder prep. This is two and five eighths diameter. This is going to work on doors, you know, inch and three quarter thick, a little bit thicker. This, you know, you're just going to want a longer screw. My guess is that's likely 1032 would be my guess of that screw size. Um, the third I had mentioned earlier is it would be nice if they had a model that was clipped here and here because a very common application uh, when you use a hole filler is with a panic device. You've got a 2 and an inch hole. You're just installing a rim exit only device. Hole filler goes on, exit device goes on, and you generally to get the head case to fit flush, you need to clip that or cut that down because the panic device won't sit onto the face of the door and over this plate at the same time. You can make it work. It's just not right uh, to do it that way at all. Um, so that would be the nice uh, third option to have. There are these little dimples that are here, okay? And if you study in your mind's eye a two and an eighth inch hole filler, a uh, two and an eighth inch hole, you've got a round hole, but at three and nine o'clock, you have small little dimples that are there, okay? Um, and that is so that that sits in and it kind of prevents it from turning. This is obviously the exterior side. That's obviously the interior side. You know, you've got a machine screw, you've got the outside, and then the inside. Okay, so that's what it is. That's where it's used. Let's switch now to the screen view and take a closer look at some of the supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at, factory image here. I have some images here that I have taken. Let's take a closer look at those. Just going to be painted steel is all this is. Okay. Now, uh, let's take a look at the extended description information. 2 and 5 eighths for a 161 prep. They say it's 0.055 uh, thick, so about 18 gauge. Let's take a look. Uh, my caliper is telling me 0 0.062. 0 0.062 is what that is. Now, there is a link here to the product catalog. Very handy document because it will show you all things Hager filler plate related. And immediately we see our 336D, 2 and 5 eighths. Here's the smaller one I mentioned earlier, the 336C. Also in this two-page document, you're going to have six hinge fillers, four and a half inch and five inch, in inch and three quarter wide, inch and a half wide, and inch and five eighths wide. And that sixth plate is here. Also on the first plate is a 161 edge filler, which you might need with a hole filler. And 86 edge filler, that's for a government 86 or a mortise lock prep. You'll have a deadbolt strike filler, uh, pardon me, you will have a deadbolt strike filler right here, an ASA filler, a T-strike filler, five shims, uh, pardon me, four different shims in a five inch and a four and a half inch, and then in a 28 thousandths and a 65 thousandths thickness, you have the 86 to 161 edge conversion. If you have a hollow metal door that you're converting from a mortise lock prep to a cylindrical lock prep, you'd want that uh, adapter plate. 
Then you have a flush bolt strike filler and then a flush bolt body filler as well. We've taken all of the items on this product catalog and we have summarized it into this table that you see here. What's handy about it is other than the description and where it's used and the size and the thickness, a link to the item in this left column so that you can immediately get to the item. Any video reviews that we have will be in this column here. There's also a link below this video to the manufacturer's page as seen here where we can pull up not only all of the Hager products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website here, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I would recommend reviewing that document uh, because it's quite comprehensive. It is 600 plus pages of practically everything builders hardware related as it pertains to Hager making it available. Hager Hinge, their namesake, so obviously hinges, Roton, continuous geared aluminum hinges, exit devices, closers, weather stripping, residential hinges, hard, residential hardware, sliding door hardware, electrified hardware, this would be a low energy operator, um, trim and auxiliary hardware is here, um, trying to think of anything I've missed, uh, obviously lock sets, mortise locks, cylindrical locks, deadbolts, uh, things of that nature. Quite comprehensive offering, 651 pages. Uh, also on this manufacturer's page, you can review the Hager King manual, that's here. Uh, if you delve into the world of locksmithing, that would be an interesting resource for you to be able to review. Hager does have their own keyway, in fact they have a small multiplex system of three keyways and you may, or, you may eventually bump into it. If you see a key stamped H1, and it's a funny looking small format interchangeable core blank that has a shoulder stop, it's a Hager key blank, and there it is. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, it's a typical piece of hardware that a hollow metal shop is gonna have on hand. Commercial door suppliers will have these on hand. Uh, if you're a contractor and you do work in condominium, bu condominium buildings, you're probably going to end up needing a hole filler at some point. Um, and Hager's offering is pretty comprehensive. I can't... Other than that hole filler you'd use for a panic device, I can't think of another filler that they're really lacking in the sense that, you know, there are blanks that would be used to blank off an electric strike. Um, you know, there are needs, there are times when you require a filler plate for an unusual piece of hardware that filler plates aren't made for, like maybe an overhead stop, um, you know, things of that nature. And if you need that, reach out to us. We can help you with that. We can get steel that's, you know, say an eighth of an inch thick and then shear it and then punch it for holes or whatever needs to happen. Any questions on the Hager 336D hole filler or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.